All right. Let's look at um, chemical reactions, equations, and calculations, please. So I said, take down, please. I said, a chemical equation is, you can use the word, symbolic representation of a chemical reaction. A chemical equation is the symbolic representation of a chemical reaction. Full stop. Chemical reactions are changes which transforms elements to compounds or compounds to new compounds. The substances that undergo the chemical reactions are called reactants. Are called reactants, while the new substances formed are called products. Usually, for a chemical reaction, usually, for a chemical reaction, you can write this, please. Uh, what this means is this. I have reactants. How do you read this? No. How do you read this? This is, this is read reactant or reactants. That's how I read it. So in English language, you don't write boy or boys. No, that, that's outdated. You simply do this. B-O-Y, this. This is read boy or boys. So this means reactant or reactants undergoing chemical reaction to give you a product or perhaps several products. That's how it's right. Think down, please. Think down. Some visual changes. So what should be here is chemical reaction. Let me use CR. Chemical reaction. Reactants undergo chemical reactions to form either a product or several products, as the case may be, please. Take that, please. Some visual changes that may occur during a chemical reaction includes another very important concept you should remember. Some visual changes that may occur during a chemical change or a chemical reaction it includes number one. Number one. Formation of a precipitate. Number one. Formation of a precipitate. What's the precipitate? What's a precipitate? A precipitate is simply an insoluble solid in a liquid. That's it. A precipitate, short form, PPT. Short form for it is PPT. A precipitate is simply an insoluble solid um, in a liquid. Um, somehow, somehow, that's like a basic definition. Insoluble solid in a liquid. I'm guessing you've done particles where you saw precipitate, right? Uh, sometimes it looks like Kata is not. Number two, number two, evolution of a gas. So, uh, by the way, I don't know if I've told you, your chemistry test is subjective and objective. So it's not theory. It's subjective and objective. So, yeah, they'll give you the same. Which of the following is not an evidence that a chemical reaction has occurred. The list. So you should know how to pick this. All right, number two, evolution of a gas. Number three, a change in color. A change in color. Number four, a change in temperature. So these are like um, few evidence that proves that a chemical reaction has occurred. A change in temperature, right? So when you do those experiments, I see PPT. 
That means a chemical reaction has taken place. Number two is evolution of gas. When you're in the lab, when a gas is evolved, how do you perceive the gas? You don't put your nose, do you? What do you do there? You blow the air, though, is it not? Right. Number three, a change in color. Sometimes, especially when you do your titration, right? It changes from perhaps orange to red. It proves that a chemical reaction has occurred. Finally, change in temperature. And that's why in some reaction, you don't use your hand to hold the um, conical flask. There's something you use. What, what's that thing called? Tongue. So you use to hold your conical flask because in some, in some cases, in some cases, you can have a cold substance and a cold substance. If you use your hand to hold them and turn them together sometimes, the temperature can become so hot that it will fall off from your hand. You just have to leave it. So you don't really use your hands and um, do that stuff there. All right, step down, please. Step down, please. Another important concept, please. Types of chemical reactions. Please, very important points. Chemical reactions. The different types of chemical reactions include number one, combination reaction. It's almost impossible to write physics exam or test that you not see this, this particular one, either your test or exam. It's almost impossible. Chemistry, it's almost impossible to write chemistry test or exam that you don't see this concept. Number one is called combination reaction. Take that, please. Very short notes. These are reactions in which two or more substances, these are reactions in which two or more substances combine to form a compound. Two or more substances combine to form, let's see the word. A larger compound yeah better two or more substances combine to form a larger compound example in the formation of water example in the formation of water all right so I have this you have this so look up please I have to balance this so water hydrogen oxygen I have this I have to balance this obviously two hydrogen here two hydrogen here balanced two oxygen here just one oxygen here please at this level level 100 you don't balance chemical equations by adding subscripts you only use coefficients in quotes whole number coefficients listen if I want to use mathematics here there are different ways I could balance this let's say for instance I want to balance uh, this one here I'm having H2 H2 balance one oxygen I could come here technically to say 1 over 2 and it's balanced of course it becomes this times this half of 2 is 1 so technically this is balanced Half of two, one oxygen here, one, two hydrogen, two hydrogen. What is correct, please, at your level, is not permitted, please. As you go higher in chemistry, it will be permitted. So please, when it comes to balancing equation, we don't use fractions. We only use what there? Whole number coefficients. That's one. Number two, we don't use subscripts. So you don't say H2, H2, O2. You come here and say two here. No, that's wrong. Although this exists, yes, but this is wrong, please. To balance this, of course, two, I'll bring two here. It becomes two times one, two oxygen, two oxygen, balance. But I have distorted hydrogen, becomes two times two, four hydrogen. I have two here, so I'll add two. This becomes a balanced equation for this. This is an example of a combination reaction.
Number two. Number two. I will tell you how to know if it's combination or not. They will give an equation. Say, what kind of equation is this? And how to know? Number one is combination reaction. Um, let me state something, please. For this one, I have element and element combining to give compounds. In some case, I can have compound and compound like this. Like this one here. Look at the board, please. This equation here is it correct? Yes or no? This equation here is it correct? Yes or no? What's wrong? Okay, oh, okay, okay, hold on. We have to balance Daddy. That's Daddy. This equation here, is it correct? No. Hold on. Is it that it's correct but not balanced? Is that it? No. It's correct no. but not balanced. No. If it's not correct, let me stand up. It's not correct. Why is it not correct? What if it's not correct? You raise your hand now, Chief. You raise your hand. You that's looking at, no, no, you that you're looking at, you, you, you raise your hand. Yes. Why do you think this is this is not correct? Why do you think so? Does it exist, right? Yes. Why this does not exist? Why this compound is calcium Ca, which is two plus, combines with oxygen O two minus. We said when they move, they will cancel each other. So it should be what there CaO. Please. No sense. Yeah, but calcium peroxide, peroxide, perhaps. How do you peroxide is this one we just did here now? But don't worry, leave this one, we'll come to this one later. Let, let's hit on this one so we can go on a break. I'll come to this one later. Is this not balanced? Is it balanced? One calcium, one calcium, one carbon, one carbon, two plus one three oxygen three oxygen this one here is still a combination reaction how do you spot a combination reaction for a combination reaction you have smaller reactants giving you a bigger product smaller reactants giving you a bigger product this one to giving you a bigger product that's combination reaction number two The composition reaction. Please take that, please. These are reactions in which a compound breaks into its component elements. Breaks into its component elements. So if I reverse this, it becomes the composition. If I simply reverse this, it becomes um, Okay, hope these are balanced. Yep. Balance equation. Two potassium, two potassium, two times one here, two chlorine, two times one here, two chlorine. Two times three, six oxygen, three times two, six oxygen. The easiest is for, for you to differentiate between uh, what's it called? Combination and the composition is that they are actually like if they are, they are like a flip side of each other. For combinations, two smaller ones add up to give you a bigger one for decomposition or disintegration you have a bigger one breaking down into two smaller ones um, that's it the third one
Number three, displacement reaction. Displacement reaction number three, please. These are reactions in which elements in one compound displaces another in other compound. Better that way. So one element in one compound will displace or take the position of another element in another compound. Full stop. They are usually redox. They are usually redox. They are usually redox equations. They are usually redox equations. Please cram this particular I just said. This one comes out there almost every year. Cram this one, please. Cram this one I just said. Comes out almost every year. Redox. Redox. R E D O X. Red, um, reduction oxidation. They are usually redox um, reactions. So look up, please. Look up, please. How do you spot displacement? It's easy. They will swap position, nothing changes. From here, copper was combined with tetraoxysulfate um, 6 ion. Observe here. So here, zinc was standing alone and copper was here. In my product, the only difference is that these two just swap positions. So this one now, zinc displaces copper here. And that's this. So it becomes a displacement um, reaction. That's all. And I said they are usually redox um, equations. Finally, please, number four. Meta. Meta what? I learned that this is product word there. Thesis, not thesis. Thesis. Yes, it's called a metathesis reaction, not thesis. Thesis. Uh -huh. There are of two types. They are of two types. They are of two types. Metathesis reaction. Please take that, please. There are two types of metathesis reaction. There are two types of There are two types of metathesis reaction. But one is called neutralization reaction. That's acid-base combination. What is neutralization reaction? Simply a reaction where an acid combines with what there? A base to give you what there? Salt and water. Neutralization reaction. An acid, say HCl, alkylic acid, combines with a base sodium hydroxide to give you salt NaCl plus water H2O so whenever you give you a reaction and you look at you see an acid you see a base it combines to give you you see salt you see water it becomes what there a metathesis reaction aka what there neutralization reaction in the exam these are the set exam they will give you this and ask you what kind of reaction okay fine okay before then number two before then number two take them please a precipitate reaction is simply a kind of reaction where a precipitate is being formed. Okay, call this precipitation reaction. Fine. A kind of reaction where a precipitate is being formed.
All right, so I think I've given you a balanced chemical equation of the reaction. So this is a precipitation reaction. Now listen, listen. So these are like the four types of reactions. Combination, um, um, combination, decomposition, displacement, and metathesis. All right, listen. Um, I think combination is easy to know. You have smaller reactants giving you bigger products. Decomposition is, decomposition is also easy. Bigger reactants, breaking down to what there? Smaller products. Displacement, also easy. It's literally the same thing. They just change position, as you can see here. Okay? The, the harder one to get there is metathesis, especially this one here, precipitation. Now listen, here's how they set your test question. They'll give you this question here and say, what kind of reaction is this? One of the options will be metathesis. Another option would be acid-based neutralization. So question, which do you pick? Please. They'll give you this question here. This one is metathesis, yes. But it's also neutralization. They'll give you these two options. Which do you pick? Pick neutralization there. Why? Because under meta metathesis or metathesis, there's also what there? Precipitation, please. So please, always pick out... Um, Neutralization. How do you identify a precipitation reaction? Is not the question. Because literally, you have to actually do the reaction first and see the precipitate. There's always a hint. Listen, there's always a hint in the question. If you go through past question, they don't expect that you should know all of this. They expect you should know this one. Of course, if you're going with basic chemistry, you should know this. When you see an acid and a base and a salt and a water, you should know. When you see combination, you will know small, small, bigger one. What is it, the composition you should know? Bigger, small, small. But you cannot always tell precipitation. So how do you always remember precipitation? Read your question carefully. They will give you a hint. You see a question like, in the formation of calcium transcarbonate 4, using this and this, comma, where a precipitate is formed according to the reaction below. And I'll give you this. Now I ask you, what kind of reaction is that? The answer is precipitation. The idea is this, they always give you that hint there, that a white insoluble substance is formed. They'll give you that code there. So that, that is that it's what there? Precipitation. So always note, always look out for that thing there. They'll give you that hint there. And that's it. All right, I think at this juncture, we can take a break.